go over to gold. What we want to do is we want to go totally against the counter trend traders. In other words, when I was a guest speaker out in Las Vegas, it was the World Trade Show on futures trading. There's about between 5,500 and 6,000 traders that trade futures. And the majority of the traders that I talk to and that the more majority of the systems I've seen out there that other vendors use are counter trend traders. It's a counter trend trading system. In other words, they're trying to fade the market. They're trying to go against the overall tone in the market with lagging indicators such as moving averages per se or stochastics or divergence or using the MAC, etc. They still all use them. Unfortunately, what happens if you're a counter trend trader is that you're going totally against the market tone or the direction of the market. And this is typically on the hundreds of traders that I've trained. We have tons of traders that are three, four, five, two, three, four, five, six year members that don't even log in this room. They sign up for two, three, four, five year contracts with us. And even hedge funds, many, many hedge funds, prop firms, professional traders high frequency traders and those traders what they do is they look for the same exact setup and how they use our system is they use it to go against the counter trend traders because if you have any experience in the market if you counter trend trade the market you're typically going to lose ticks on a daily basis so what I've developed over the years is I developed this trend chart now the beautiful thing about this trend chart is it lets me know where to catch the wrongly positioned traders or the counter trend traders. And that's very important for us to know because that's the first chart that we want to look at. We want to establish what is my trend. The market can only do two things. It can either go vertical, meaning trend up, trend down. Gold's trending down today. Crude is trending up. Or it's chop, it's sideways. If it's sideways, I know what to look for also. But let's go over trend first. The easy way to look for trend is this. I don't like moving averages in general. I don't like crossovers. I don't like to use them for support and resistance. They're worthless. They're great for trend direction with the trend filter. What I have is I have a Rinko bar that we built into NinjaTrader. We locked it on our own server. This is the most important chart you're going to use before you even look at Fibonacci analysis or market profile or anything else like that. We want to know exactly when the counter trend traders are coming in to look for a trade, and that's going to give us a big heads up. So what, how, how we're going to do this is I have three moving averages on there. I want to see where the smallest moving average is in relation to the open versus close on my candle. That's the most important part of trading is the body of the candle. Not the wicks, not the highs and lows, which are the wicks. That's for amateur traders. The most important part of the candle is the, is the body of the candle. Now, I have a very sensitive trend filter built in to this Rinko bar. That's what separates this Rinko bar from any other Rinko bar out there. So it's going to pick up and read when the counter trend traders are coming in. So I have a smaller MA right here. It's a small MA. You can see it's a small MA that hugs price. And I have a medium MA and a larger MA. If there are if they are all if the smaller two MAs are below each other, you're in a hard trend down. If the the smaller MA is above the medium and above the larger, then you're in a hard trend up. And if you if the body of the candle, if the body of the candle is not closing outside of the larger MA, then your trend is definitely still down. So the body of the candle, see it can break an inch or bar. I'm not worried about that. I just don't want to close a whole body candle close, open versus close. So the trend's down, in other words. We are down. There's no reason to take longs at all in gold. So how can we do it? How do we know when to buy and sell the markets? Well, if you are a red candle and you're below my smaller MA and you see the first green bar that pops up, that is a counter trend trader counter trend traders coming into the market against my trend filter because it's letting you know 
that you have a possible move, a counter move to the upside. So as soon as that first green bar, bar prints here, you're looking for a possible setup. As soon as the first green bar prints here, you're looking for a possible setup. As soon as the green bar prints here, you're looking for a possible setup. As soon as the green bar printed down here, you're looking for a possible setup. Now, how do we look for the setup? We use this next one right next to us, the Fibonacci candles. I mean the Fibonacci uh, arrows. The Fib arrows will tell us when to get into the market. And these SIM dots are called SIM dots, support and resistance. So the first thing we're going to do is this is the this is a, one of our main setups in the room. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to find the trend. See if the MAs, if you're below them, if they're if they're all below each other, then you have a hard trend down, which has been below ever since midnight. Small's been below the medium, medium's been below, below, below the large, you're good to go. As long as we don't close outside that larger MA, a whole body candle close, we're still in a downtrend. So we're looking for a sell setup coming up on gold right now as we speak at this level on market profile. We're looking for gold to roll over again here around 1232 and a half as we speak and go straight back down. But needless to say, once that green bar prints, the market starts retracing, you want to watch this chart over here then. This chart over here has my Fibonacci arrows. And my Fibonacci arrows, what I what they are comprised of is they are looking for a sweet spot in the market to look for an entry. We're looking for a arrow to fire so we can get into the trade for a continuation to the downside. So here's where the counter trend traders start coming in at, at the low here. And that produced the green bar over here. That produced the green bar. So instead of just getting in with the green bar, I mean, when it turns red back red bar and popping in, the stop's too big because you have to put your stop two ticks above the swing high. I look at my FIB chart. I say, hey, I know my counter trend traders are coming in. They're wrongly positioned traders. Let me watch my Fibonacci chart and see where the optimal FIB level is to pop in the market to get a nice short trade. So as the market ticks up, tick, 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 I have what's called these symmetry dots. They're support and resistance. They're red dots and they're blue dots. Red dots for sales, blue dots for buys. It tells me the area that the market should stop only after I see on my trend chart the counter trend traders are coming in. So right when that green bar printed, my SIM dot was automatically up here, right there, right on it. It let me know that that area right there at 1234 and a half, 1234, 30 to 50 should be the area where the market should roll over. So what I want to do is I want to, when the arrow fires and it comes within a couple ticks of it, minimum two ticks, it can exceed it. It just can't close a body of the candle above the symmetry dots. As soon as that arrow fires, I want to enter the market short. My stop loss is going to be two ticks above that swing high. There's my stop. Very small stop. My target is going to be two ticks in front of the opposite side of symmetry dots because they are right here, opposite side of symmetry dots. So I want to bail 50% of the position after my entry here right into my symmetry. A lot of traders do it within 10 to 12 ticks on their ATM machine. And then we want to go for the next set of symmetry as we move down. So that's how we do it. We like to look at the trend chart first to let us know when the wrongly positioned traders are coming in the market. And then what we want to do is right when that first green arrow prints, I mean green bar prints on the trend chart, open versus close, here, 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 we were three for three on catching the wrongly positioned traders this morning. Yesterday we were six for six in the morning on gold all the way down. I'm sorry, seven for seven. We were seven for seven on crude. Sorry, seven for seven catching all the wrongly positioned traders. On crude, we're two for two right now, or three for three, two for two on retracements, one for one on momentum trades. I'll show you that in a second. So the trend chart is catching the wrongly positioned traders. It lets us know. And that is different than looking at a stochastic or looking at divergence or looking at the MAC or looking at any other Thousands, there's thousands of indicators out there, and they're pretty much all worthless. If you get any 
indicator that's free on Ninja Trader, to me it's worthless. I had TradeStation for a number of years, since 19, what, 94, 95? I just got rid of a couple years ago. They give you a thousand indicators on there. They're all worthless. They don't work because a lot of them are counter trend. You want to be with the trend of the market and take retracements with the trend. This trend filter is such a long Renko bar, and my trend filter is so built in so well, it will let us achieve the results we need because we're getting in where the counter trend traders are pushing the market up for us, they're wrongly positioned, and we get a continuation straight down. Okay, Gerald, go over to crude real quick. Two ticks above the swing high after the arrow, Tim. Let's look at crude, Tim. Tim and new traders. Uh, Jim, go over to crude. Let me know when you're over there since you're new. Go over there and let me know. Hand me a Y when you're over there, Jim and Tim. All right, so remember, I don't care about market profile over here. I don't care where the fib arrows are. I don't care where my market delta is at. What I want to see is this trend chart right here. I want to see the trend of the market. So the easy way to see the trend of the market is this. What starts the trend, I have this smaller MA right here, the small MA. With my trend filter being a, such a large Renko bar, when I get a 90% candle close above the body of the candle, 90% body of the candle close above that small MA, which is right there, that tells me I better only take longs. In other words, since 5.30 this morning, if you've taken any shorts on crude oil, you are wrong and you deserve to get stopped out. You're totally going against the market. So you have all these counter trend traders that counter trend trade all morning. Caught them here. Caught them here a second ago, just now a few, a few sec a seconds ago or a few minutes ago. So if I look at the counter trend traders, they've been caught since 5.30 this morning. If you shorted any market this morning at all, took any shorts on your trade blotter, you're wrong, and you deserve to lose ticks against the professional traders. Why? Because there's my 90% body of the candle close, 90% of the body of the candle close above my small MA. So what happened was, was that right here is where the counter trend traders start coming in. First red bar prints, this is my, one of my top setups to get in the room. Remember, I only need to know a couple setups. Once the first bar prints against my trend filter, once that's against the trend, there's my first red candle, you start looking at this chart over here. Stare at this chart. This is my FIB chart, one fired here for a nice entry a few minutes ago. Watch my, ob my now look, look for the blue symmetry dots to come within two ticks. Not, not red anymore because we're buyers. We're not sellers. We're smarter than our trading opponents. We're more educated than our trading opponents. We know better. We know not to counter trend trade against this trend filter. It's very sensitive. It looks at all the algorithm. It looks at all their algorithms out there, all the hedge funds, all the prop firms, all the banks, all the professional traders, all the amateur traders, all the volume coming in the market. It's going to tell us when the counter trend traders are coming in the market, the wrongly positioned traders. That first red bar tells you the wrongly positioned traders are coming in. So how can we take advantage of them? Once that first red bar prints, I look at my five sim Rinko, my next bar which my, with my dots on it, my sim dots. These SIM dots by themselves are worthless. You cannot use them by themselves. But they work great when you know when the counter trend traders are coming to the market because they, what do they do? They create natural support and resistance. So I want to know where my blue dots are. So when this first red bar printed, there's my blue dots. If the price comes within two ticks of my blue dots, then I will look for an arrow to fire at the low of the bar and if a green candle prints right here, which it did, open versus close, that means you have a higher close than open, which is bullish, then I want positive market delta to fire me in the trade. So you want to see positive market delta fire you in the trade at this blue level or an arrow fire, one, one or two. If you want to just wait for the arrow to be really conservative because that's a Fibonacci area, then wait for the arrow to fire. If you want to take a positive market delta like this, Take the positive market delta, put your stop loss two ticks below that swing low. Go for the first set of symmetry dots right here you go. Scale within two ticks of symmetry. 
go for your second set of symmetry dots because typically in a trend market you get the second set which is typically 50 ticks on a market that's $500 per one contract on gold or $500 potential one contract on crude they typically go to the second set so that trade right there your live fill would have been 66.35 the high of that candle it got as high as 87 so you have 35 all the way to just under 90. So you get these four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollar trades with the stop. Your maximum stop is 13 ticks on all trades, and then you adjust it two ticks below the swing low or swing high. So you're looking at a five to one, six, seven, times sometimes eight to one reward to risk when you position yourself like this in the market. So that's one way to enter the market is catching the wrongly positioned traders. The second time they position themselves, wrongly positioned, is just now when you guys, when I got on the mic here, I was showing gold. When I was showing gold, it came right down and stopped to my symmetry dots to the exact tick. You'll see my sim dots stop these markets to the exact tick sometimes. They're very remarkable in all markets. But that's not enough. The Fibonacci arrow fight exactly right on my sim dots and right when they fired on my sim dots look what happened look at my positive market delta down here the buyers versus sellers overtook meaning more demand came in versus more supply so look at the positive market delta green reversal bar with positive 171 you don't have to know much about the numbers just so it's positive green with the positive arrow they came into the market showing you they're pumping the market up. So that arrow is a valid arrow to take. So the last trade, your first 10 ticks is off already. 74 will be the entry off this chart. We got as high as 85 already. So now we are two for two on retracements. One here, one here. Why? What set it up though? The trend chart set the whole thing up. The trend started way back here with 90% candle close above. But the counter trend traders, we prayed off the counter trend traders again. I had a vendor that came over to my booth at the trade show. I was running live, the system live for four days at Las Vegas. And they're watching these trades develop. And he was right beside me. And every time that my system took a trade, his, to, his system was opposite. And it was hilarious. If these traders were laughing their butts off. It was, it was very, very funny because when I was getting, when my system was getting in, his system was getting in. Oh, short, he had a divergence moving average MAC system because the MAC was his trend filter. He had a divergence system and a moving average crossover to get in. So he would get short right here when the, on, on this red bar, and he would, he would get a couple ticks. He, he was a scalping system. So his trades would always come in when these red bars printed. It was hilarious. So when these red bars are printed, my system would not have any arrows, and we would not look to buy, but his system would print exactly when these red arrows come in and that's how much junk you have out there that's how much junk you're dealing with in the in these markets today and that just shows you that count that traders want to try to fade the market and that's just not how you do it so what you want to do is I want to see when the red bar prints to let me know when what happens I'm catching the wrongly positioned traders and we had a running joke the last three days because the he had about six um, six of his employees with him and it's like okay when they, their trade came up I was like well we must have a trade coming up in our system next and it was I had a retracement trade and he was counter trend trading it was absolutely it was kind of funny to watch but anyway it just shows you that there's tons of counter trend traders out there out there so we 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 pray off the counter trend traders that's what we do we look for the counter trend traders because they're always wrong if you look at all the stats in the market, when Stocks and Commodities Magazine came out and said almost 90% of future traders lose, why? The majority of those 90% that had a big article on it are, are counter-trend traders. They counter-trend trade the market. And they continue to do it with lagging indicators. So we know we're golden on a pullback because we're catching all the wrongly positioned traders. And we've done it with gold today, and we've done it with crude now twice in a row. So that's one of the trades I look for. It's called a retracement trade, catching the wrong position traders. Here's a nice entry. There you go. So this is called a counter trend trade 
in both of these trades right here, counter trend traders caught. That's a retracement trade. Use a five sim arrow and the sim dots to get in. So that's one of the ways we get in the market. It's one of my top setups. That's only one setup we look for because what happens is, is we have a momentum trade. And Gerald, I know I'm getting long in this video, so I'll hurry up here. I have another setup I look for. So that's, we know if an opposite, it's easy. If an opposite color candle comes in against my trend filter, if an opposite candle comes in on my trend filter, uh, the reason they like to fade, Tim, is a lot of traders are counterintuitive because everybody thinks one way. They think with their emotions. If the market's really high, what do you automatically think, Tim? It can't go much higher, right? Or if the market's really low and getting cranked, you, what do you tell yourself? It can't go much lower. And that's what the, the emotional state is of traders. Where a lot of traders, if you ask them, most traders will say, I buy low, sell high. If you are a trader that thinks you can buy low or sell high, you are wrongly positioned in the market. You're wrong. And you're going to get killed in the market. It will eat you alive. Any trader that tells you, my, I like to buy low, sell high, they're a novice trader. I don't care if they traded 30, 40 years or they're doing that. They're not a very profitable trader, in my opinion, because they're not with the trend of the market. If you ask a trader and a trader comes up to you, I buy, and they say, I buy high and I sell higher. I short low and buy lower. That's a professional trader. What do I mean by that? Because on these two retracement trades, you are buying high on this last trade, right? You're buying high on a pullback on support. This last trade down here, which is almost a $500 trade, when you caught the counter trend traders, you were buying high because you never caught the low down here. We never caught the low, did we? We're not buying low here. We're letting the market confirm, letting the trend filter confirm that it started to trend up at 530 and buying the first retracement. So what we're doing is we're buying high and selling higher. And until you can get that in your head, you're not going to do very well in the markets. And that's why 90% lose. You need a short low and buy lower. Now, the second momentum trade that we can do that you're going to see in the system the next couple of days, you watch this. The second trade is this. The second trade is the momentum trade. What happens in the market if it's just too strong. What happens if it's too strong? What, what if you never get a red bar pullback on my trend filter? What if it's green, 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 green all day? It happens sometimes when you log in and this sucker is green all morning, like two, three, four hours. It happens sometimes. It's just one directional. And that's when you get these 100, 200, 300 tick days. We had a 300 tick uh, move in crude. Like, how can I get in then? What I can do is this then. If I see I'm green right here, green I like to look at the space between my open versus close and my small MA if I see there's a space between the open versus close and my small MA I know I'm trend hard up trend hard up I want to not wait for a red candle I want to wait for a shallow retracement to pop in the market so how can I do that this is when I use my other arrow chart to the far far right which is my Small chart over here is my three sim chart. I only use this chart for these setups. So as I get, as I see the small MA, my open versus close is way away from my small MA. If it ticks back down, tick, 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 and touches, this touched in my exact tick of my small MA. Right here, it touched right on it. My arrow fired right at the low this one fired right when this hit the small ma this one fired this one fired hit my small ma i want to enter the market right here my stop loss below the two ticks below the swing low this is a momentum trade when the arrow fires only when it comes down and touches it intra bar if you have space away from my small ma so that's another way we can use it. We can use my five sim, Rinko, with my dots, only catching the wrongly positioned traders, the counter trend traders coming in the market. That's deeper retracements. Caught this low, caught this low. Then I can use my 
smaller rinko bar, my three sim rinko bar to catch momentum trades. Momentum trades, I can tell these last three, one, two, three, that caught this momentum trade when it turned up here at 5.30 this morning. Look at this, catching this one at 5.30, this one and this one after 5.30, just massive trades. That's over $600 trade with an, a, a $110 stop. That's a six to one reward to risk. This was 700. So I can use that for my momentum trades. So I can, I can position myself when the red bar turns red. I mean, for the counter trend traders on this chart for Fib Arrows. But I can also position myself on this chart for momentum trades as it ticks into your bar. It's awesome. So you do these, those two setups and you're great. Now, what you can do on these, one thing I forgot to mention, Joe, you shut this off in a second. If the market's screaming up, we're in a hard trend up. We've been in a hard trend since 5.30 this morning. If you see a symmetry dot break out like this and retest, see how it retested? This one right here. Look for an arrow to fire off my 3SIM, which it did. 3SIM over here to fire. That's an arrow entry right there to go long, right here, off the smaller time frame, because you're breaking opposite side of the symmetry dot. So not only can you use this three sim small chart to look for pullbacks on my small MA, I use them for a break retest of my sim dots also. Pretty cool, huh? And then market profile <clears throat> I use. Market profile I use for flat days, and I'll go over that with you in a minute.